Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you how to create responsive digital magazines using InDesign and In5. This is the digital version of my magazine that works on the desktop. I've exported it so it will work as a flipbook and has the page peel effect. It's got animation, it's got video, and I've also got these flip cards, which is a unique feature to In5. And then I can use buttons to navigate. So this is the desktop version. Now I have another one that is fully responsive. So it starts out as the desktop version. But if I scale it down, it will turn into the mobile version. So it peels just the same. I've redesigned these pages. That's what we're going to look at in this tutorial. How do we set up this other layout and redesign these pages? I've got slightly different effects for this one. And now, because I have more limited space, I've made this into a scrolling frame. So I'm designing with mobile in mind in this case. Let's jump into InDesign and see how this is set up. This is my starting document. It's got my original digital magazine with the desktop view. I'm using all of the digital tools in InDesign to create things like animation with the animation panel, timing, media, and that can all be found under the window menu. Most of it is under interactive, so there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Some of these other items are augmented using interactive widgets from the in5 menu so for example if I go to the 3d flip card and select one of these items these are multi-state objects I have a flip direction applied let me go to the object states panel you can see my two different states I've got my button in there that's of course controlled by my buttons and forms panel that's how I jump to the blueberry page so I've got my entire desktop layout if I wanted to export at this point I could go up to in5 and choose the easy export wizard and in this case I chose flipbook and went to next, pixel perfect text, gave it a name and export. But we also want to create other layouts so that we can actually have a responsive product. Now the way to set up responsive layouts with InDesign and In5 is to use InDesign's built-in alternate layout features. To create an alternate layout, I'm going to go into the Pages panel at the Flyout menu and click Create Alternate Layout. I'm just going to make up a rough phone size, just testing this out to see what it does. Now, I'll go over to the other layout and we'll see the immediate issue, with, which is that InDesign has changed the size of the page, but it hasn't reorganized any of the elements. Now, I could go in and reorganize all these manually, or I could have spent a bunch of time setting up liquid layout rules, but I want to show you something I'm working on that's going to make it really easy to do this step. So I'm going to undo this step. I want to show you the magic layout builder that is going to come with N5 soon. The main difference in using this dialog is going to create the alternate layout, but then it's also going to use InDesign's built-in adjust layout feature to reorganize and resize the elements on the page so that you don't have to do so much rework. And I'll just keep the same layout size just for perfect comparison. Now you can see everything actually fits on the page. Some things have overset text and they need to be adjusted. So what I do now is I go in and I make adjustments and then I could, I'll draw a frame here and then choose edit paste into. And now I've got my text in here. Then I'll go up to in five interactive widgets, scrolling frames and turn on the scrolling frame. You can see what my final document looks like. Here I've got my desktop layout and here I've got my iPhone layout. And I've, now once I have my second layout completely set up, I go up to in five, I'll go to the easy export wizard again. This time at the bottom, it tells me responsive layouts are detected and have been applied. When I go to export, I'm going to get this responsive version. Let's check it out in the browser. Let's reload this and see our nice iPhone friendly layout here. Jump to the blueberries and there's our scrolling frame. So that's a really quick overview on how to use InDesign's interactive features, the alternate layouts combined with In5's interactive tools and the export to make a digital magazine that is responsive and looks great on all devices.